Right now, breaking news on News Channel 8. A nine-year-old child injured in a shooting in Tampa tonight. Good evening, I'm Jennifer Lee. I'm Keith K. Thank you for joining us. Police say just after 8 o'clock tonight, a fight broke out between two groups in the Grant Park area of East Tampa. Shots were fired. The nine-year-old boy was struck by a stray bullet. He was conscious and breathing when he was rushed to the hospital, but still no word on his condition at this hour. Also tonight, a tragic crash involving a school bus late today kills an eight-year-old little girl. Troopers say the young victim was the passenger in a car that slammed into the back of the bus. Justin Shecker reports from Citrus County. Jen and Keith, good evening. This crash happened just after 3 o'clock right next to this VFW. Florida Highway Patrol investigators tell 8 on your side the school bus had stopped here to drop off some Citrus County High School students. We're told the 8-year-old girl who died was not wearing a seatbelt. We're very careful. They have the signs out on their bus and all that. Despite the school bus stoplights being on, something went terribly wrong Thursday afternoon. FHP says the 75-year-old man driving this convertible didn't hit the brakes in time on State Road 200 before crashing into the back of this school bus with 30 students on board. We're so shocked to come out here, you know, especially with all those being war veterans and sitting here and the things that we've been through to, to look out here and see what happened and to find out his child had passed away. And of course, we were worried about the trauma of the kids that were on the bus, too. John Stewart is the chaplain at the VFW. He says he arrived to find a large law enforcement response and this section of the road shut down. All I can do is send prayers out to the family, you know, and especially the, you know, the, whoever was driving. A car. The girl passed away as they tried transporting her to a hospital. Stewart tells eight on your side, a trooper went inside the VFW, hoping the security cameras might be able to assist their investigation. We tried to find it on our cameras that are pointing out here that would show us, you know, exactly what happened. And right at that very incident, when the incident happened, uh, our cameras blipped. And we missed it. There was no way to get it. And tonight, there are no reports of any injuries to the high school students on that school bus. We're told the 75 year old driver and a 10 year old girl in the car suffered minor injuries. Reporting in Citrus County, I'm Justin Shecker, 8 on your side.